Y'all awesome. got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. I got cuz over there on the side of me. What's happening then? So we about to get into Messi Monday. Messi Monday. It's about that Messi Monday. It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday. Hey creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. Please, Please boy. Y'all, we are one more week away from December. It's about to be 2025. Baby, this shit is moving. Do you hear me? Get y'all stuff together, because we got some New Year's resolutions that we got to work on. If y'all didn't finish them this year, then baby, we got to roll them on over. So shout out <laughs> to y'all for making it this far. We have one more month. I am so proud of you. Like I always say, you could have given up, you could have threw in the white towel, you could have said, fuck it, crashed out, whatever, but you didn't and you are still here. So give yourself a pat on the back. Well, I don't want to hold us too long because it's not a lot to talk about, which is crazy. I think this happens every year around this time when the weather changes. Listen, the girls November don't be nothing going on. Nothing. And I was really getting upset about that, but now it's all right. I appreciate it. We all need a break. Look inside, they like, look, it's cold. We ain't got time. Child, we got to get shit together. New Year's coming up. Christmas presents. Fuck all this mess. So I'm loving it. Hey, we can run through this shit and keep it moving. But before we get into it, let me give a shout out to my friend, and that is Monet. Monet, I hope I pronounced that right. Thank you for being the first to comment on my Twitter post. That means so much to me. You have my post notifications on, so that means you want to know what I need to say. And I greatly appreciate that. So if y'all can go over to her page, give her a retweet, a like, a follow, whatever the case may be. Do that. Y'all connect with each other and let's build as a team because we are the Zone Navy and that's what the Zone Navy do. All right. I love you, friend. Continue to support me, and I will continue to support you. Hey, bitch. Well, we're going <laughs> to skip y'all first part, which is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, and going to get into the docket. Because we ain't got a whole lot, whole lot to talk about, but we still going to talk about what we talking about. Because you girls love staying it's in some shit. shit. First of the docket, we have Christelle. No, baby, I don't know why y'all acting surprised. All right. Oh, right. Like oh, right. <laughs> Okay. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you gotta relax, man. Yo. Baby, I don't know you why y'all acting surprised by that little triple A battery. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> we've been seeing that. Y'all remember it. that Ruku cool remote? I guess because y'all didn't rush over to the OnlyFans when he first dropped it years ago to go peep the scene. <laughs> but bitch, we been seeing. We bitching. Girl, that little chicken nugget ain't been talking about <laughs> shit for years. I think Queen was really in love. She she had to be. Now, I ain't talking about it because I like a little small pin. I don't really want the big, long pins. You know what I'm saying? Because you can control the men with the little pins. That's why he well, came out the way he did because Queen put it on him. I don't know if y'all heard the myth. Girls make boys and boys make girls. Do with that information as you will. So anyway, Chris has been talked about for the past couple of days because his video got leaked on Twitter. Now, I can't post on Messy Monday for certain reasons, but uh, if you've seen it on Twitter, you see seen it. <laughs> or did you see it? So people were talking and talking and talking and talking and talking because Chris always comes out and clocks the teeth. But girl, when this came out, he didn't clock the teeth. On my soul. Do you mean on my soul or where did it go? Uh -huh. <laughs> so look, so everybody talking about my, my behind. <laughs> Chris, okay, but, no pun intended. Mm -mm. What else were we talking about? 
about. Are you sure you on the same topic we was on? Because I don't think anybody really cared about your butt, sweetie. The only people talking about your butt was the sugar butt. Because some women don't care about a big booty. Nobody cares that you have a booty, Chris. It's Nobody. the other thing that we was all having a conversation about amongst one another. But what they do care about is what's popping in the front and yours wasn't popping. Uh, I used to be self-conscious about my butt because I don't know. It was like one of them things where females used to always tell me, you got a, you got a nice booty. And I used to just be self-conscious. Like, why does my, you know? And then, like... I can't believe he made this video about his booty. He did. When I'm walking, it's like, are you looking at my ass? So I used to be self-conscious, so I posted it on my OF and it went viral on Twitter. On my soul, now. Now, I'm comfortable with my sexuality, so I don't care. Like, you feel me? Like, I didn't, you know, I don't care if I post my, you know, my behind. Like, it's a butt. It's meat. It's just a lot of meat back there. You know, it's just, <laughs> it's just a lot of meat. Y'all like y'all don't got no booty. You I know don't. Me? It's just butt, and you can't got no ass. Butt right now, so. Uh, I'm absolutely not double crazy, cheeked up on the Monday. Crazy living right now, bro. It's just a booty, y'all. It's literally just a butt. I ain't trying to knock a man down because enough has been knocked down already. <laughs> but he's talking about he's self conscious with the booty. <laughs> I mean, that's what a wrong self-conscious is that. <laughs> now, I... <laughs> Talk about, I'm securing my man. <laughs> I'm securing my manhood. You ain't got a lot of man to be securing. So you... you he is cooking <laughs> him. <laughs> <laughs> you better find some. God done bless you in all the wrong places. All this acting feminine. He said, well, let me give him... Let me give him some ass and a little clean. <laughs> what about you? He talking about, I got a fat ass. Okay, but you got a little penis. Now at this point, honey, God gave you a couple of struggles and you need to pick one. A little dick, a big ass, a tiny boy. Now at this, <laughs> at this point, are you a Yo, they was trolling him in the comments like, y'all knew that thing was small. Just hear how he sound. Oh my God. That's crazy. <laughs> Clock that <laughs> Tiny boy. But honey, let me hustle. That's how you know he hurt. Chris know exactly what y'all talking about. How y'all crush a man's self-esteem is when you talk about that penis, honey. And he trying to act like he don't know what y'all talking about. Knowing good and damn well ain't nobody. Ain't no, nobody, nobody cares nobody about your about booty. booty. You was trying to dig in them good, but it just wouldn't reach. Dang. Because <laughs> she wasn't making not a nail sound. What was going on when she tied? Now, she was like... Yeah, she was too much for him, dog. She was way too much for him. I'm talking about she was trying to bend, about to break her back the way she was trying to arch it. Trying she to get like, it in. <laughs> can, can I feel a little bit of it at least? So I ain't trying to be messy, but this can't be man that you wrote karma about. I mean, he had you fucked up about what? Messy? <laughs> what? <laughs> now I got a question. You, um... So y'all, Clarence did a video for um TikTok, and he gave a little thirst trap. He looked like that on soft per se, uh, from what he showed. So I'm saying that to say I think it's bigger than Chris. You know, this is not very much of a conversation. I'm going to put my two cents in. <laughs> so so sorry. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> they say you you and Chris. Favor. Is this in all areas or what? Because I, I mean, I'm starting to, I'm starting to, I'm starting to question some things. Y'all both built up the same. Y'all both very demure. <laughs> now I see why Chris was fucking with Jazz because I mean, he feels as though he ain't got no no, y'all, oh, we got wow. experience. You know when there's a little Lego on the <laughs> You know when there's a little Lego on the ground and you step on it, that shit costs some, costs some pain. <laughs> so man. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that little Lego be doing, be doing something. <laughs> so I guess we gotta let it go. It's not the size of the boat, it's the most. 
ocean of the ocean. And he got some waves in the back. So, I, I, you know what? He but just Chris, in him. I mean, I want you give me my phrase and call me that and let me know what's going on with that. Well, all right, child. If it ain't about me, Chris Dick must be French because it's speaking wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, okay? We got Plies versus Sullywood. <laughs> now, I don't know why Plies came out and did this because. <laughs> Everybody know one thing Soldier gonna do is Soldier Boy is so gonna tell him. So Blas that came out and he said um he was suing Soldier Boy along with Megan Thee Stallion and Glorilla for copyright. Now Megan Thee Stallion and Glorilla didn't respond, but we sure know it. So this is the beat that is in question about the copyright and fragment. I keep a couple killers round. Oh. Now, oh. A lot of people are saying, why did Pies wait 10 years later to come out and say this? Well, honey, guess what? The longer you wait, the more money you get. Now, Soldier Boy, anytime somebody come at him, baby, he is quick to respond. But this time it took him a couple of weeks. But he responded. They talk about some man, you know Plies on you. Plies, if you don't sit your bro down some what the f wrong with your cheap pretty boy swag is not your b so you want to wait 10 years to try to sue a nigga for a beat that is not your beat crazy man what the fuck is wrong with you plies need to change your name to lies this nigga social mm. boy look like he got his lips done them bitches look oh. big as hell Cause you a motherfucking liar. You know that ain't your motherfucking beat, bro. What the fuck wrong with you? You should have just said, hey, bro. I'm broke. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. Bro. Hey, bro. I'm broke. Let me hold something. Let me hold something. Let me hold Probably something. Don't sit your bald headed down some. Your motherfucking hairline in the middle of your head. You know, you and know. now, wow. Soldier Boy, now yours is leaning all the way to the side and badly, too. Here's his back day. <laughs> the fuck, what? The fuck out of here. That beat is all original music. You only can sue somebody if they sample your song and don't get it cleared. That is not a sample, bro. Just sit your bro down, some. The fuck wrong with you? If you broke, just say that. <laughs> oh my God. Now, Soldier Boy, look, I. <laughs> you down but one thing you gonna do is bitch you gonna clock that tea and you gonna read but that little fire alarm seatbelt beat <laughs> girl it did sound a little similar I it did lie. but hey it did. Nigga, one thing about you soldier boy you will lie to somebody's face and ask them where's the lie because this right here is fire beat honey i don't know but we gonna see plies hasn't responded back to soldier boy i guess he's like look i'm too grown i see you in court but whatever the case may be y'all tell me in the comments do y'all think that he took Plies beat? Does it sound similar to you guys? Or is Plies reach? Oh, and the one with Glow really. Boop, boop. He in love with Glow. Never got the cookie. We got my name. Ted, that's crazy. All right. Well, yeah, they said. They said. They said but this is what I'm saying, though. They said that that beat was somebody else's before Plies had it. Then what are we talking about? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find Unless, out. Yeah, facts. Okay. Next on the docket, we have Neek and Lady. So Neek did a YouTube video with some of her friends, and in the YouTube video, they asked her a couple of questions, and this was one of the questions. Would you beat your, your, your baby daddy, um, baby mama? Oh, it's my husband. You got to do You think you could beat her up? Like, do I feel like I could beat? I feel like I could beat anybody. Oh! Oh, is, like, what, is that what that is? Do you feel like you could beat Lady? That's her name. Yeah. She, you messy. And I'm not taking no shots. And yeah, I feel like it could be anything that's trying to kill you. Period. Now, child, I'm not trying to be the sour one in the patch because I saw everybody saying, well, what was she supposed to say? Was she supposed to say the girl was going to beat her ass and whoop, whoop, whoop? Well, no, she didn't have to say that. But what she could have done was not answer the question because if the roles were reversed and Lena would have said something like, well, hey, do you I will say if the roles was reversed, Lena would have um, probably got beat up by Nick. Damn. Neek would have been like, tell that hoe to pull up. Or Neek would have pulled up to King House. 
Why, where that question come from? That question was random. Because they was being messy trying to get her to eat the chicken wing, and she didn't want to eat it. Oh, okay. Because it was too hot. You think you could beat up King's ex baby mama? And she said, "Yes, child." Y'all will have a hissy fit, but because it's neat, y'all think it's okay for her to say, "Yes." Well, I ain't nobody gonna beat me up. Yeah, we know ain't nobody gonna say they'll get their ass beat. But to keep bullshit down, just say, I'm not answering that oh question. Oh my God, who knew I could do Because this. now if Lana was to respond, y'all gonna jump down her back. But really, <laughs> she would be in the right. So Lana did respond. But wow. what she didn't respond was fiance soon to be you white. You see what I just did? Yes. Because everybody know. Oh, and you can move it? Yes. Oh, see, mine don't look like that, so I can't do that. And then I can't. How did you do that? I just, I just pulled it. But my, mine don't look like that. I don't. I don't know why yours doesn't look. Mine looks like it's got the three three pictures at the bottom when I click on the video. Probably because you're sharing. So let me click mine. Nope, still the same. I don't know, man. Oh, that I'm, neat thought that she. Mm -hmm. I'm jealous. <laughs> Whoopsie. So I come in, Lady, because we all know that usually she will clap back, she'll make a video, she'll say how she feels, but this time she just ignored it. She moved on. Hey, you said what you said. Hey. I'm posting this at the end of the day. It is what it is. So you can't be talking about me because I ain't no baby mama. I'm a fiance, so you must be talking about the mother girls. But what we will talk about is, is Neek really the problem? Find a way. Move. Hey, nothing happened. Y'all not together no more. Y'all together. We not together. Uh oh. What happened? So find a way because you don't want to answer. We were not fit for each other. That ain't the question. You see that, Jess? What happened? She said, look how uh, Breeze is laid across the bed like he paid motherfucking bills. <laughs> I'm talking about taking up the whole bed, too. Because it didn't work with King. Now you and bacon ain't working. Is it because you wanted to be outside and bacon really wanted to not be no boyfriend material and he wanted to move on to something more serious? I don't know, y'all. Don't, don't kill me using what the comments say. I don't even think that was it. For real. I think that was it, cuz. Cause she was outside? Cause she wanna be outside. She's young and paid. Why not? Right. So it's She's the reason why he don't want to be with her because she want to be outside. Neek for the streets. <laughs> Bacon wanted to marry that bit. She ain't for the streets. If you ain't in, if you ain't for the wife material, you for the streets. Man, y'all gotta stop wanting women to just stay in the house. It's more to life than just doing that too. You can go outside all you want, and when when Honey South says she want to go outside, you let her go outside, right? Ain't a let. She go outside. Come on, ass woman. Exactly. So she. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is you can do that and still be in a great relationship. But if the outside takes over your great relationship, then you for the streets. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I get it. This is just word on the curb. The girls is talking. So what y'all think? Think. And then, child, some people are gagging because he got four tattoos of her name on him and she got three, which I don't understand because do y'all not know the name? Y'all got amnesia, dementia, whatever the case may be. Why y'all need so many different names on there? <sighs> don't get me that way. But I don't know. And some folks are like, well, that don't matter. You ain't obligated to say because you get tattoos, which is true. But why did you do that if y'all knew that y'all were in different levels in y'all life? Some folks on the curb is saying because, you know, he's still dealing with a lot of the past. I don't level. know why y'all get a tattoo at all of somebody else's name. I'm not doing it. That's all right because I've done it and I'm cool with that. And I don't um, regret it. I don't regret it because. It, that person held um, a special place in my heart for me to want to do it and that didn't change because of what happened so it's like 
I'm not going to regret it. I feel like it's a, and, and it goes along with my family tree because, you know, that motherfucker was a part of, and is a part of my family because you got my child. So my family tree go from my, my, my shoulder down my back all the way down my arm. So I ain't got no problem. I feel you. Now, now, am I going to get someone else? It depends on what that person, you know, what that holds. That next person got to hold a special part in my life. I'm not just going to be like, yeah, we together, or, you know what I'm saying, we can get the tattoo. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but it's definitely got to make sense. Yeah, I just think it's, I don't know, teach his own. Right. His brother, and maybe he was, you know, bonding with her, trying to find somebody to love because of the passing of his brother, and she's just not there yet. Like, he want her to be a homebody. She don't want to be a homebody. People say, well, she's a content creator. She got to be outside. But maybe when she knew That's he crazy, she's outside. Huh? And maybe he just want Chrissy says she'll hold my special part. That's wicked. Oh my God. <laughs> Chrissy, you just nasty. Hard to now, you know, become wholesome, but she's not ready to be wholesome and he you know the fuck what? Bacon! <laughs> I'm ready! <laughs> But anyway, a lot of them questions, I just want to answer, baby. I would have been drunk off of hot wings and liquor. Hey, don't get me to talk because y'all going to always defend that woman, Miss Meek, baby. But until y'all can see when somebody really is a messy person, it's on you. All right, well, my friends, if Lena want to do the job, she's going to be Okay, Meek, go back and get your man, please. This child, that, this new generation, a lot of y'all women got more bodies than cemeteries. If it ain't Damn. about me, let's kick it. Let's go. She don't have more bodies than cemeteries. This is her second dude publicly. What are we talking about? Who, Nick? Yeah. Publicly. Man. Next to the duck at, we got Queen. <laughs> now, Queen went on TikTok Live. Oh, I wanted you to see this. She don't know how she ended up accepting somebody on the live because she's never done it before. She was just, you know, real baffled about the situation. <laughs> and this is what happened. I was going to decline it because I was going to go to sleep. Type shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go. I was going to go to sleep. I'm sorry. I need to accept it. But how are you? I'm all right. You be battling? Huh? Battling what? You be battling. <laughs> I wasn't going to accept it, although accept and decline are two different things. But before she accepted it, she said, ooh, let me just accept this real quick. And then say, I wasn't going to accept it. I shouldn't have accepted it. But how are you? Huh? Yeah, that's the same face I'm making, queen. What the fuck are we talking about? Huh? Like, on Rap battle? Oh, man, you knew he wasn't talking about no damn rap battle. So if I said this, you know what this is? Oh, I did that to somebody before. Yeah. Exactly. So we can do well, it. Yeah, but I'm tired though. No, like, ooh, I'm <laughs> sleepy though. I can't. I can't do it. That is right, Queen. Why is you stumbling over chairs and getting nervous? Oh man, nervous as hell. She was like, "Oh my god, oops, oh, oh." Looking shit. at that fine specimen of a man. <laughs> <laughs> she getting nervous. Literally nervous as hell. <laughs> <laughs> you sleep, you're that sleepy that you came back. Well, I got a kid. I gotta wake up and get to take my kids. How many kids you got? Okay, we're not doing this. I'm I'm sleepy, okay? I'm sorry. Alright, you be safe. Have a good night, okay? You too. How do I get off of here though? I don't know how to do it. I got you. Okay. Are, you gonna, are we gonna be are we gonna be mutuals to battle again or I just catch you when I catch you? You probably gonna have to catch me. Girl, I read that. You probably gonna have to catch me. I have to catch you. <laughs> like, right, catch me, please, sir. Because at this point, <laughs> I'm falling. All right. Night. All right, good night, y'all. I love you guys. Mwah. No, I did it by accident, y'all. Don't do that. Don't and then stayed on live for me. another 10 minutes. <gasps> Don't make some. I, I accidentally accepted that. Don't do that. I'm not trouble by Y'all know what's so funny, ladies? She did that high pitched voice. He was. It's the I accidentally accepted it whole time. Queen was like, let me accept this last one. Let me accept this last one. 
Now, the only thing I can say is he, he probably didn't have a profile picture. But if someone finds his profile and he has a profile picture, because I don't know what to say. I have, I don't. Bitch. Oh, you can't see profile pictures. You can only see the name. But then we need to see what his name is. Exactly. I was asking normal, that. simple questions. I was going to decline it because I was, I was going to go to sleep. Type shit. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to accept it. I'm like tired. You be battling? Battle? Um, I think I've done that before. You trying to battle? What's up with it? No, I don't want to battle. I'm really sleepy right now. I really got to go to bed. I got kids. How many kids you got? <laughs> don't worry about that. No, no, I'm going to go to bed. This nigga finds for Yeah, um... Yeah, I'm gonna get out here. Can we do this another time or just I'm just gonna have to, to catch, catch you? When I'm on. Make sure you catch me at Kava. Hey, how do I turn this on? On the south side. <laughs> I got you, sweetie. Right, got <laughs> Thank you. Let me hush, child. He should have just wanted to show her how to make the music. You're gonna have to catch me, you know. I have a, a meet and greet at Lennox. At, uh, <laughs> like that's, <laughs> that's what Queen gave. Yeah, his name is Swayzo. This nigga given great dang. He is not supposed to be that fucking big, <laughs> man. Huge ass nigga. <laughs> Maybe they could have keep eating cap. All right. Mm. Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keep it. <laughs> hey! Next to the docket, we have Catherine and Austin Broom. Now, child, Catherine recently came out with her new man, and child, this motherfucker is. to walk away but mentally and emotionally I was already clocked out maybe three months ago I'm proud of her she suffered in silence now she's being loved out loud hello somebody come on so Jesus then Austin came out and this way he had to say oh man no oh, one man. thing I will say <laughs> one thing I will say is that you guys think that I find out the news when you guys find out the news. And that's false. The truth is, I've been known about the news for a while now. Yeah. Been known. Mm -hmm. Little do you guys know, I've actually met him. Yeah. Not once. Not twice. Did you guys know that? You didn't know that. Uh... <laughs> why be petty? Why why should anybody be petty in this world, you know? What do you need to be petty for, Austina? Huh? He's not given that he's hurt by this. I think he's got I think he was hurt by it and he has to address it, but this video not giving me that he's hurt. What do you get from it? What I, I'm getting that it's petty, yes, but he like, bitch, I already knew. I done been through what I had. Got to it. Through what already. does he have to be petty for, though? What is the petty part? Making this video to the the, the people that think he's hurt, that is petty. Cause I don't give a fuck how you feel about it. I'm not with one, but to be like, I met him already. <laughs> that's that's petty as fuck. <laughs> Me and him cool. <laughs> 
we actually played pool. I would have lied like hell. Me and, I, me and him went swimming together. Something stupid, but yeah. And the thing is, they not cool. Because he was talking about uh, uh, dressing being the beast and, you know, them trying to bring out the beast. What does the beast need to be brought out for if you ain't got no problem? Because I think she also is probably throwing it in his face that she's moved on when actually he can care less. Now it's like, bitch, I don't want to see you. If he didn't why care less, go- he really didn't care, wouldn't care less. Why? Why do? Why you gotta make it seem like you gotta show me? He's bothered that you moved on. This the video is not giving that. I'm okay. not. I'm not giving. I'm not getting bothered from this video. Maybe I'm tripping, but he's not getting bothered by this video because somewhere, somehow, in that it would have got a little bit of serious and anger from that, and he would have been like talking about it. See, the good thing and, is he's an actor. And he's been actors, in, actors get bothered and, and they show it. And he's been in pl- in plenty of situations. Uh, Chrissy said, "Press play." You keep watching. But petty is fun. It is fun. It is entertaining. He's giving Pennywise. <laughs> <laughs> Suspect is too old to be having a hairstyle like that. Child, hush. Him and his brother are both weird. I don't know what she saw in him when she was dating this man, but baby, it ain't right. Like, I don't even know why you feel it is your need to address her new relationship anyway. And I don't give a fuck if people are harassing you. You don't have to answer to them people. Are they paying your bill and they got a gun to your head? Fuck what right. they feel and how they feel, what you supposed to feel. Fuck them. That is a grown ass man talking about some. It's good to be petty sometimes. Man. Boy, that's why she left me. But I know her when I see Appreciate the reason, Jesse. <laughs> Your ex wife is saying that her new man is the most beautiful man that she ever laid eyes on. <laughs> that shit bother him, though. <laughs> I would be sick. I mean, look at Austin. He is a little. Austin, you is a little ugly, though. <laughs> God damn. Well, if it ain't about me, suspect is S W E E T. Next to the docket, we got Ray J versus Jamal Bryant. Now, honey, I don't know how this came about, but the Bible said, touch, not my anointing. So I don't know what Ray J thought he was doing, but y'all already know him and that family. <laughs> ah, stay clear. Yo, what you I got nothing her? but love for Pastor Bryant. A muffin. Shout out to Jamal Bryant. Shout out to Von Alvarez. But if y'all play that interview, somebody getting snatched off the pulpit. Don't play the interview. Ray J. Snatched off the pulpit is crazy. He meant every word he said. Right. It's not clear. It was out of bounds. Me and Pastor Brian need to talk because the way I was why I was treated was 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 dirty and illegal. Why were and you even like talking it. to I a don't pastor? Nobody to play that f- interview. I don't care if you're from the church or not. Like, like, be respectful and do people right. Don't call people out their name and don't make people feel like they're not safe in a place where they thought they were safe. I'm telling mm-hmm. you right now. I'm telling you right now, we need to work it out. Because if we don't, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, Ray J. Now you done made a threat to the man of God, right? Uh, you know? Oh, you ought to be a What are we talking yourself. about? Why would you do that? Didn't nobody tell you to sit down and open your mouth and say the things you said? You said those things. And how are you going to be mad at somebody for the shit you said? But if you ask me, Jamal Ryan. One thing about it, I'm gonna play that tape because one thing you're not gonna do is threaten me. I know you won't. But to be honest, this could have been a phone call. Why didn't you call the man? Ray J just be Ray J. But I'll see this question, Ray J. How can an interview be illegal? Like, what? <laughs> For real. Do they do they tie you down? <laughs> <laughs> Hold you against your will. Not be you give you no water and just tell you to answer questions against your will. What? And then I make you ain't make me feel safe in the space I was supposed to be saying. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got sounding like that, cuz? Because that's how he said it. 
You said it with a deeper voice. Oh, oh, no. I ain't got a deep voice. <laughs> I'm gonna play my mom's feel like y'all ain't making me feel like I'm gonna snatch a motherfucker off the pool pit, bitch. But if you if y'all don't put it out, I ain't tripping. <laughs> what the hell? Like, how was it illegal? <laughs> what was threatening about? Did he have police officers standing right there saying you better answer? I just need I need to know. What happened in that room? I hope God forgive him for that. Talking about he gonna snatch somebody out the pulpit. <laughs> I hope God that forgive him for that. That nasty word. So then after he dropped that, I don't, I don't know what happened. But then Ray J came out and posted this. It's just tried to shoot me and tried to kill me. And you want me to apologize? Fuck you. Now I said, I know Jamal Bryant and the Deacons and the motherboard. You have to be kidding me. But, like the Bible said, touch not my anointed. So maybe you done threatened the pastor. Now God done spent the block and had the world done come and get you. So, see, you got to be careful when you come at. You can't mess with those that are blessed. But you said you, they shot at you and they almost got you. But your sister said almost don't count. Oh, so, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you, might, you might as well shut up. Because if they didn't get you, they didn't get you. Where is Brandy? Brandy, please come, come get your brother. He need a juice box in the nap. At this point, this man is acting. She's somewhere talking about almost doesn't count. Out and then, you know, he makes right. this statement. Y'all can pause it, whatever the case may be. He just basically says he's not going to drop the um, interview before, you know, editing the things out that Ray J wants gone because what he stands on is brotherhood and he does not want to make another black man look bad. Um, even though they do not do any editing, he would do it for him. Woo woo woo, yada yada yada. So then Ray J comes back out and he apologizes. Speaking that kind of language to a pastor is unbelievable. It's stupid. Uncalled for. Mm -hmm. It's disrespectful. It's stupid. distasteful. It's, it's disgraceful. It's stupid, Ray J. In every sense. Saying I'm gonna snatch somebody off the pulpit and they a pastor is 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 uh, being it's crazy work, it's right? Blasphemy. He's saying that because he ain't got bullets flying at his ass no more. Whatever that means. Uh -huh. And I was very angry because I'm scared that some of the stuff I said that I wasn't supposed to say could affect me legally and stuff like that. So I just lost it and I shouldn't have said words like that. Um pray for me. If you would have me at your church. Next time you are fellowshipping, I would love to come through and and pray with you in person, pray with you with the whole church. I apologize to the whole Newburgh. Um, and whenever you are appreciate your subscribe, just say positive tip to, to just say I'm sorry personally to you and the church and the fellowship. Please add me. <laughs> asking, for, asking for prayer after you just said. <laughs> You hey, was you gonna snatch your man out the pool. <laughs> oh, baby, you, you need to sit down. I, I am tired. I'm tired. Definitely oh, tired. Y'all making mistakes and then asking about apologies. Now, baby, the word on the curb is <laughs> when you come down from your coat bench and then you realize you, <laughs> you done fucked up. <laughs> And if you ask me, I'm just like, damn, if he doing all this every time he don't get his way or he get into his little brat mode, imagine what Princess had to deal with. Man. I, I would be stressed. But I ain't gonna lie, I do believe that there might be some people after Princess got the hell up out of there. I will be tired of it too. Ain't no way. After him, not the deacons. <laughs> but he was in the interview saying that some people are after him. And he might be telling the truth. And he's probably acting like this so these people don't unalive him. That's why he's acting like Orlando Brown. Because right. Ray J exactly. be telling y'all the tea. Wait, because of what? Because he ain't trying to get smirked. He see that these niggas is realistic. Mm. Real life trying to come get him. So yeah, I, yo, I was tripping. <laughs> who, My fault. Who trying to come get him? <laughs> he don't know. He think it's the pastor's people. Oh. <laughs> he said they shot at him and tried to kill him. Lord have mercy. Yo, I mean, hey, I was tripping. Uh, Let me tell you something, man. It's my I, fault, not yours. I see that y'all are really serious about me pulling this thing off the, path, uh, uh, the, pool, off the pit. pool pit. So, uh, 
Then Let me the, relax. Then the pastor just come back out like ain't nothing happened. All right, we're going to edit it. We don't normally <laughs> edit it. We're going to edit it. But, but we will today. today. You know, most, you pa- cool, we cool. <laughs> most pastors used to be gangster. So Most of them used to be gangster. And still is. And will be. I'm going to say will be. If they have to be. Okay. Right. But because we not, think that the Orlando pastors and him might are be crazy. Gangster. Pastors might not be gangster no more. But the pastors, folks. Pastors got them gangster, gangster friends still. Yes. <laughs> they know that people ain't going to believe them, but some going to believe them. So it's like we might as well not even kill them because people don't even believe what they're saying. That's why Orlando Brown is here for so long. But mind you, Orlando be talking some real shit. Just like Ray J sometimes. So maybe this crazy stage is what they do to keep themselves safe. I don't know, child. Whatever the case may be, put them on hold. <laughs> a maniac hold about 48 hours and let them out. If it ain't about me, let's eat. Yeah, and he running from something with the Hollywood in general. Stuff. Y'all know he got a Rico too, so something going oh, on with that God. Rico and he said some stuff in that interview, I think that he absolutely shouldn't have said that had something to do with that Rico. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. And her daddy. Now, honey, All right, we got four minutes this. on this moment. <laughs> this is a mess. I don't know how Disney went from Disney to the hood, but baby, it happened. So, Sky finally came out and she announced her pregnancy and that, you know, she's very happy about it and she came with for her upcoming acting roles and being a mother, woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. So, not too long after she did that, the baby daddy came out on Facebook. <laughs> Mind you, the name is Yerky Yerky. <laughs> Scott, what are you doing, sis? He comes out and he posts, Oh, wow, I'm salty. I got this dumb ass Disney Channel bitch pregnant. I'm serious. I hate this hoe. And Man. I'm just like, wait a minute. You know, you it's so long. Scott? I honestly think she's the problem. It's it's something going on with her. I feel like she's the problem and we ain't gonna know until we catch her slipping outside somewhere being the problem. But then Scott and her mama come out and they say that he didn't do this. Now at this point, I'm like, y'all are goddamn lie. Y'all are goddamn lie. Every time this boy do something, mind you, back on the dock, when they was fighting with each other, mama come out and say, oh, it was nothing. They didn't really do that. And they kind of found out they was fighting. Then this time, she say that the, the boy didn't, he got hacked and he really didn't write that. Girl, that man wrote all that stuff. I don't know why y'all be trying to save face for your daughter. Just tell the truth. Say, this man is crazy. She fucked up. She thought she was in love. And honey, it's a mess. On my brother, I know y'all on this bitch being nosy as fuck. On my mama, I don't give a fuck what y'all talk about. On my baby, fuck yeah. these hoes, nigga. On my mama, fuck these hoes. Hey, and we on tour, nigga. Something getting we slayed tour, tonight. Nigga. The boy is a mess and your daughter just went down the wrong yellow brick road. Okay? Literally. Because then he come out and this what he say. What do you mean? Stop doing that girl. Like, girl, y'all talking about doing it. Like what? I ain't do shit. And I'm saying I can do whatever the fuck I want. No. Baby girl, you ain't know I'm good for domestic violences. He said I'm single. You surprised? <laughs> he he ain't even claiming her? They ain't together. I thought she was with them. <laughs> oh he God. ain't feeling her at all. Oh my God. All life. We we'll both go to jail, beating on each other. Smiling on my mugshot. Now, this a mess. This a mess. And instead of the mama sitting here trying to correct it, she's standing beside. I mean, I get it. That's your child. You don't want the world to talk about your child. But sometimes you got to put your foot down and say, baby, look, there's only so much I can do until you start making me look stupid. This is just secondhand embarrassment. Right. Y'all try to defend this man. But now this young man don't give a fuck about how he make y'all oh, look. I, oh, I don't think they was up. trying to defend him either. I think they was trying to defend her name of her looking like she's a problem. So, nah, he wasn't talking about her. It was hacked. Was it? Um, it was not hacked. It wasn't hacked. The nigga even said it by himself. Yeah. He said it online. So that you wasn't to trade. protect him. That was to protect her. It was capped. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, look, I'm domestic violence and baby girl, I go to jail behind that. So y'all really was fighting on the dog. So not too long after that, this man, <laughs> Oh my Jesus. This man had an altercation with the police in Ohio. In the midst of them trying to, you know, question him and arrest him, he take off. <laughs> this man, this man take off running. Why running? You should have known he was going to fall. You know, every white person falls in me. <laughs> white person is crazy. He damn near looked like this man fall. They arrest him. Now <laughs> he going to jail. <laughs> I would not want one of their knees and on my head. I just truly would not. So honey, I don't know. They say Scott uh, met this man when he was locked up before and she was... I love you so much. Love you, Courtney. Love you. Go to school. Do good. What? Well, he's just a problem child in general. She yeah, he was still got a baby. With this guy while he was locked up. Pin Women are the problem. Huh? <laughs> Women are the problem. What do you mean? Women are the problem. How are hey, he is a crash out certified fuck up and she still got a baby by this nigga man then then they're gonna say all men ain't shit look who you chose i feel you on that <laughs> i mean so if the way. bottom of the Bro. barrel was a person lord he is right there at the bottom <laughs> i'm talking about it ain't no liquid in that barrel no more He's right there at the bottom flapping <laughs> not now he like come on down here Come on, and come she on. was like, "I need it." Come on down <laughs> here, ain't, no, ain't nothing here. Come on. And I, she, she said, "I need it, all of you." Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> she was pin pals with this guy while he was locked up. Allegedly, they fell in love with each other through, I guess, communicating. Girl, this man was giving you the, this man was giving you prison bars, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Shelter, she did not know. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> that shelter shit is an issue. Scott Pimpout, yeah. this man, wrote him, fell in love, got out. This man was pursuing a life with Sky that he knew he really didn't want to be with. And this man was locked up. If you look at it, they say he got not one, not two, but three baby mamas. I think Sky gonna make number four, bitch. You know the fuck. Sky about to make number four? Wait, what happened? <sighs> He got three other baby moms. Oh, wow. Had no idea. Guy is number four is crazy. And I guarantee you she going to be the one that go through it the worst because she got the bread. Absolutely. Guarantee. And that's what she signed up for with her stupid ass. With her goo fast. That shit. Oh, crazy. thank you, Jesus. You might as well buckle up. <laughs> This is gonna be a, a long ride, sweetie. And I don't even mm -hmm. think them baby mamas got the money you got, so he's gonna damn sure try not to lose you. But what's damn, gonna happen is too. he gonna take you on a roller coaster of emotions while dealing with you until you decide to walk away. So it's up on you, baby. You and mom gonna keep defending him, or you gonna walk on like Catherine did and like Carmen did. All right, well. It ain't about me. Let's get keep Okay. All right. Well. <sighs> All right, y'all. Let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. We are done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah. Hell yeah.